Good morning. Um, so I was thinking about the topic of aliens since it has been shoved in your face um, profusely and massively. One statement I'd like to make is if you think that you know the truth, dig some more. Because there's always more information and more to it than, um, than we could probably ever even know. So I don't like calling channels out, so I won't. But there are a few out there who call themselves truther channels that um, uh, display photos or video uh, feed showing like um, triangles um, in the clouds and diff other phenomenon. And then they'll say stuff like, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. What do you think it is? Leave a comment below. And, you know, these um, individuals have many, many subscribers. Um, and I know one of them, actually, I um, was watching that he is promoting the whole ancient aliens thing that he was going to go you know, on board um, with that whole thing. I'm not sure if that's like a, a series or I don't really know. I don't care. So um, your whole life through the electronic screen uh, for for many, many years back in the the early 1900s, maybe even well, they didn't have TV before the 1900s, but um, ever since the black screen magic mirror has been placed in people's homes, they have been pushing, even on radio, before they had, a, before they had TV on radio, they were pushing the whole alien invasion idea that, you know, oh, the universe is so big, how could we be the only ones? which um yeah past the firmament we don't know what's out there but um whatever you're seeing in the skies has always been in our atmosphere has always been under the dome or firmament um because they're fallen angels demons there are no aliens um well i mean you could label them aliens, um, the ones that are not human. Alien, yeah. So they're not from distant planets or whatever. They've always been here. Um, how they're cloaking themselves, I have no idea. But once the Lord God lifts that veil or pulls back that curtain, um, the whole world that's a stage is going to be revealed and heart and men's hearts will fail them. So, yes, don't, um, whether or not you think you're not being manipulated or programmed I mean, unless you are born again and you have the full armor of God on, you are being manipulated and you are being programmed because you are not under the protection of Jesus Christ. So if you think you're so clever that you can do this on your own, you are completely wrong. And that's why it's so poor. It's so important to 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 have His Holy Spirit. It's so important to be born again because um, Satan will deceive you and has 
deceived many, even people who call themselves Christians. Um, they think that, oh, they're saved under the blood of Jesus, but it's like, no, because be you're still part of the world. And it's clear, it's really clear um, by the words that come out of their mouth and by the things that they choose to participate in. Um, just because you say you believe in Jesus Christ doesn't mean you're with him. Doesn't mean he's with you, his Holy Spirit within you. Um, so this whole video is about um, that they will have a, a mock uh, alien invasion. The economy, if anyone's paying attention, is, is, I mean, it's been at the tipping point since about 2008, but they can no longer um, cover it up or, or, or put, um, put uh, pretty bows on it or anything anymore because what has been hidden in the dark is coming to light and people are waking up. Are they waking up fast enough? Most people know they're not because they're satisfied with, you know, they, they, they um, learn about flat earth and they stop right there. They learn about, you know, NASA being uh, nothing but a hoax. They stop right there. Um, they learn that, you know, the government means mind control and they learn about MK Ultra and all that business and then they stop right there because the gatekeepers that call themselves truth channels, um, they don't go any further. Um, they don't tell you about the whole transgender agenda. Um, most of them don't talk about how, you know, uh, that the population probably isn't 7.9 billion. They just want you to think that. Because again, the whole world's a stage. So if they lie about one thing, they lie about so many other things. Um, they don't talk about the uh, Freemason where a lot of the older buildings um, that they look like they've been through a flood and their arch architecture does not match up. Uh, like I, I don't see any um, new architects able to do the work that um, you see all around the world. And especially, I mean, I grew up in a small town and I could show you the buildings. I mean, you could look it up yourself. Winchenden, Massachusetts, W-I-N-C-H-E-N-D-O-N. -E Just look up Winchenden, Massachusetts buildings on Google. And they're creepy looking buildings, but you know that they weren't made by anyone. They don't call them Freemasons for nothing. It's kind of like mocking you in the face that it was free. It was already there. Maybe the structures have always been there. And um, the world isn't as old. Um, as they they say it is so now does it start over does it just is it in a circle and like a repeat probably probably um, you know as the days of Noah and then we're we're awaiting the second coming now does that mean it's not gonna start over again after we leave um, we don't know that you know, um, I'm not trying to speculate, and I am speculating, but I mean, we don't know that. So, um, if you think about this on a dimensional level, we're only in the third dimension. We only perceive things two and three dimensionally. Um, so, what if there are 10, 100, whatever other dimensions? It's like, you don't, you don't know... Um, how often, you know, this dimension, this hole, this portal, this whatever it is, um, cycles over and over again. 
There's a lot of theories out there. And they're theories. I'm not saying this is truth. I'm just saying that when somebody says that they're speaking truth, dig some more. You know, once the Lord Jesus Christ sees that you have interest in knowing more, he is going to grace you with more knowledge and guide you and hold your hand. Um, but not all Christians who have his Holy Spirit want to know more knowledge because they're, they feel secure with their relationship right where it is. So to, to learn more knowledge, you really have to stay close to Jesus Christ and discern that the knowledge is coming from him. So I just wanted to do this video because I wanted to let others know that there are no aliens. There are no um, good and bad aliens. They're all bad. Every single one of them because they're fallen angels. They're going to pose as one will be the enemy and the other one will be the so-called rescuers. Um, and say that we're your creators. See, uh, we have similar DNA. And it's like, yeah, because fallen angels came down and contaminated the human race by mating with humans. So yes, some people here have the same strands of DNA, but I believe when you become born again, um, our father fixes that. So he doesn't only, um, help you focus spiritually, I think that he fixes the damage that they've done to you physically. Because, um, yeah, I can only speak for my own uh, experiences. So again, be very, very careful. I just want to, you know, there's there probably nine out of ten times the channels that you're watching are gatekeepers. As long as you keep that perspective and you listen objectively and you discern and you continually talk to Jesus Christ and um, stay close to him, you'll be all right. But if you start listening to people other than Jesus Christ and start straying off the path um, and start believing lies, and going down that road um, and straying away from Jesus Christ, you will be deceived and misled. So um, take information, everything you hear, with a grain of salt. And be very careful. Because again, um, the whole world is a stage. And there's very little truth here. Very, very little truth. You know, to, to find it, you really have to um, ask the Lord Jesus Christ with a pure heart and be serious about it and show him that you're willing to give your time as well and meet him halfway. So that's all I wanted to say. I hope everyone has a good weekend and God bless.